off by saying, congratulations on the brand new single. We're about to play it on our show for the first time ever. So I was wondering if you could let our listeners know a little bit about what they can expect to hear on this track. Uh, well, um, well, the Bifters, we kind of uh, pride ourselves on being the unique brand of uh, blues rock and you're going to get a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek uh, introduction to our actually debut album, uh, Reefer Madness. So, uh, yeah, this is track one off the whole um, record, and it's a concept record. So, yeah, as you can imagine, after listening to the song, you're going to get a pretty good idea about uh, what the whole record's about, actually. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the concept. What is the concept behind the album? Um, so the Reefer Madness album um, is a concept that we came up with, sort of, um, well, as you can as you can gather, it's all about um, sort of marijuana prohibition and sort of a bit of a tongue-in-cheek look at how, um, like, weed's been looked at through the eyes of um, rock and roll over the years because that's what the Bifters kind of sort of started as, this sort of, um, sort of a bit of a, um, what do you call it, throwback to the old-school blues rock attitudes of um, eras gone by yeah, with sort of a bit of a modern rock and roll twist, so... Yeah, we um we came up with this concept and we've got like sort of samples like both from pop culture and sort of the old weed reefer madness propaganda videos and stuff. We've got samples all through the album and stuff like um that go with the characters. So each song has a character and a single art for it. And they um sort of float through the songs and they pop up in different songs. So um, and yeah, it's um yeah, it's a bit of fun, it's a bit interesting. We wanted to do an old school concept record like what what they sort of used to do back in the day and have a bit of fun with it. So tell us a little bit about the characters that we can hear on this album and how difficult was it to come up with those characters? Um, to tell you the truth, we had a bit of an idea. So once we started really going towards the, um, the concept, we sort of, well, we started out as, well, obviously we're called the Bifters, so we're named after being pretty much a joint, so... Well, our first few songs, we didn't really have much trouble coming up with the sort of characters, and then we sort of molded the um, molded the album around that. Our first single, which I th- it's already been out for about a year now, but um, we've, we decided to put it on the record anyway. It was our first song ever, Sugar Mama. Yep. And that, uh, that, that she was our first character, and she was actually um, uh, yeah, she was the first character. So we decided to um, write a few more that were a little bit more reefer-based after that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just sort of evolved. And every single time we, we wrote a new song, we just started um, uh, adding some subtle little characters in, in each one. And it sort of just built itself after a while, yeah. So the the pop culture references, tell us a little bit about how you chase them down because, there have, like you said, there have been so many... Um, pop culture references over the years that, that have looked at weed. So how difficult was it to, to track those down and, and narrow it down to the ones that you wanted to use? Uh, to be honest, they were just our favourite ones. So the one that, that opens BWS, the track you're going to listen to today and opens the whole album, is just a classic from... Um, oh, a bit of a funny story, actually, for that one. Yeah, it's a classic um, James Silent Bob Yep. Quote from um from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, I think it is. One of my favourite so, films, actually. Yeah, so we um the um legend that mixed us whole album George Artist from Deadpool Studios. Um, he was just really good with um like he's just an amazing mixer and he like had no trouble fitting um all our strange requests in at the end and he did a really good job and we were listening to a lot of Black Sabbath that week. So I wanted the Jay and Silent Bob sample to be mixed like the start of Sweet Leaf from um, Black Sabbath, how they cough at the, in the intro. Yep. And then it, um, so yeah, so, so Jay sort of coughs on the word blunt um, at the start of BWS and then that's how the song starts. So yeah, been... he was just an absolutely amazing, like he somehow, out of all my ramblings, just um, gave us exactly what we wanted in the in the final mix. So shout out to George. Yeah. So is BWS is that kind of inspired by Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, or is it a completely different character that we're talking about with this track? Um, well, the song is just literally um, you know, I'm gonna say what we sort of we 
open with that song is a bit of a bang, and it's just a sort of challenge ode to um, ode to weed in general. That one, it's pretty basic, and um, yeah, we just sort of that one was a sort of the last character we we added in. We just added him in as a, like pretty much a giant weed sack, but um, he's just a giant bag of weed. That guy, so, um, yeah, he was like the last character we sort of added. So yeah. So if people like the sound of BWS, where are they going to be able to track down a copy of Reefer Madness and when can we expect it to be released? Um, well, we've got the BWS, uh, uh, BWS single out now, coming out now. And then next up, we're doing one more single. It's called uh, Mary Jane. We've actually just filmed the video for that as well. So, um, yeah, that has a cameo from Satan. And, uh, and Mary Jane is actually the – she's a superhero – in the character so that was a pretty pretty fun music video to get done on the weekend actually so that's ready to go that'll be in about six weeks then probably at the start of next summer i'm thinking we're going to drop the whole the whole album in its entirety awesome now you've got some shows coming up as well on march 17th at the royal bondi and march 26th at the duke of enmore how excited are you guys about being able to get back out there and play after all the lockdowns and crap Oh mate, we are frothing at the bit. Yeah, we've um, we've had a couple of shows back since the lockdown and stuff has eased up, and it's just going to be actually our first one at the Royal Bondi on the seventeenth, where it's full dancing. So we are just like cannot wait because yeah, the bifters ain't made for sit down gigs, that's for sure. Definitely. Now, of course, every band has been doing it tough over the last couple of years. How can our listeners support you guys at the moment? Um, we'd love, um, yeah, just at the moment to, um, if anyone's in Sydney and wants to come down and, um, keep rock and roll alive, we'd love to see you at the Royal or at the Duke of Ed- Edmore on, uh, what, what that was that one? Uh, is, that is it the 26th? 26th or 27th, we'll be over there putting on a show with, um, our friends Teddy Rizzo, so, yeah, um, get down to s- just support any, any of the Sydney bands that have been doing it tough, we'd love to see you guys at the show or... Um, it's really easy to click a button and give us a follow on the old Spotify because we need those 33 cents a stream or whatever the hell it is these days. So definitely, yeah, anything you can do to um, jump on the socials and boost our presence would be much great. We're really grateful. Definitely. Well, Angus, we are going to play BWS on our show right now. So what would you like to say to everybody out there before they take a listen to this amazing track? Cheers, legend. Thanks so much for um, having us on and roll up a fatty and enjoy.